Now, here is the challenge plainly put. There can be no critical interpretation worthy of the name and the basic general claims of criticism without our coming to terms with the problematics of the first contact between the West and the rest, the West and others, and the perduring toxic and blinding effects and consequences of the matter. The challenge remains for this society and all collectivities of critical interpreters to engage in persistent and protracted struggle, not symbolic or obfuscating games around methods and approaches, but struggle to come to terms with the construal of the modern ideologization of language, here characterized by the meta-racism that marks the relationship between European dominance and peoples of color. What might it mean to address in explicit terms the nature and consequences of first contact for the unstable and fragile big tent that is our society? What might it suggest for the ongoing, widely, differently prioritized and oriented work we do in our different settings and contexts with our nonetheless still widely shared elitist claims and presumptions about such work. It would make it imperative that we talk about discourse and power, slavery and freedom, life and death. So there's a lot at stake here, the extent to which we're successful. I think we can help model a way out of uh, the s simple and narrow uh, focus on the texted and um, reach out for an understanding of the complexities of human beings, uh, what I like to refer to as uh, sort of the textures of, of human life.